Hi everyone, I'm Kalea Youngblood, your Chief Marketing Officer here at the Austin Board of Realtors. And today I'm here with Julia Lachey Israel. Welcome Julia. Thank you. And we are talking to our board candidates for the interviews for a 2023 Board of Directors. I just wanted to uh, welcome Julia. Why don't you go ahead Thank and you. kick us off? Yeah. Get started by telling us who you are, wh what company you're with, sure. and why you're running for the board. All right, well, hello everyone. My name is Julia Lachey Israel. I am the head of DEI, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion for Keller Williams Realty International. And uh, I'm super excited to be here, potentially becoming a board member of the Austin Board of Realtors, uh, because as we were just talking before we started rolling, Real estate is life, right? Like, <laughs> like I, uh, my, my, my whole purpose and my, really my mission um, in life is to help people big, big, amazing lives uh, through real estate, mm -hmm. you know? And for us as realtors, that means building a really big business and a really successful, profitable business. And for the consumer, that means being able to engage in home ownership and uh, investment and, and building wealth through real estate. So really, there's two things that I love real estate and real estate agents. And uh, so I'm, I'm running for the board because I think the most productive way to do that um, and the most impactful way to do that is through the association. Wonderful. Well, we'd love to hear that. Yeah. And as you know, it's a perfect segue because as you know, we have two sides to the Austin Board of Realtors. We have the association side and then we also have the actress MLS mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. So tell us how will you work to reinforce the value of the MLS as an actress board member? So the interesting thing about MLS is, is that uh, oftentimes realtors feel like, well, I just paid my money so I can get my listings on the MLS and, and really don't understand, even in the name of itself, an information system, how much information, you know, actress provides um, to build these big businesses. And if you really utilize them correctly, um, it provides a lot of value. And it's not just paying money or paying dollars to something. It's actually, uh, you know, in the, in the absence of value, price is an issue. But if you understand the value that Actress has, um, you'd probably pay more. But, uh, <laughs> but so really the, 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 the objective then becomes um, how do you expose that value to everyone so that people are using the value to the highest level and growing their businesses through the information system that's provided. So really that's the key is um, maybe through education or just championing to, to make sure people understand the value of it. Mm -hmm. um, and communicating that in effective ways. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, that's a great answer. We, we try to drive that home, that it's not just a, a place to put your listings, but mm -hmm. there's actually a lot of farming tools and yeah. products and services that the MLS offers. So thank yeah. you for that. Definitely, yeah. So let's switch hats to the association side. Okay. Um, what part of the association's strategic plan um, that do you want to see move forward or is most more important to you in 2023 and beyond? Um, Definitely community and also uh, just elevating our industry. You know, that's part of it. And elevating the industry by ways of professionalism. I, I think we're all very much so professionals. Sometimes the consumers don't really understand that at the highest level. Um, and that comes with some things. It comes with education. It comes with just being involved in your communities, especially. I'm big on community partnerships. I love that element of the strategic plan um, because communities build our entire society and who knows the community better than us as yeah. the real estate agent. So needing to engage in that is big to me and having people understand their role in their local community and, and the things that happen in your community don't just happen to you. You actually have an opportunity to participate and to shape the way that that looks. So um, really I'm, I'm interested in really focusing on those community partnerships and the community element of the strategic plan. And then also of course, just in genera general, elevating our industry um, and increasing the professionalism. Not that y'all are not professionals, we <laughs> are, but really, uh, you know, elevating us in our industry as a, as a whole and being engaged, you know, in the um, government affairs and mm -hmm. all the different things that make our industry move. You yeah. Know? yeah. I always like to say that realtors are uniquely qualified to serve every nook and cranny of our community. And so I do love to hear you say that. It, true. It's true. It's so you true. You are the ones that are out yeah. there helping people move yeah. and, and really serve at that really local level. So yeah, that's, definitely. A, that's a great yeah. answer. All right. So now I want to change hats to you as a professional. Mm -hmm. um, tell us who you are uh, and how. Wh what do you feel like you can bring to the table as a board of director member? Sure. Um, so I've been a realtor for 22 years now, um, and uh, my entire career, actually, my, my entire career. 
and uh, picked up a couple skills along the way. Okay. And I've served the entire time, really. I, and I've served on a lot of different boards. So I've been here two years now, um, but I don't ever want to just come in to an uh, environment and just be. You know, I want to be involved and, and actually help make things better. Uh, and so I bring with that experience of a lot of other boards. I've served on um, pretty much every committee and <laughs> board that you can think of in where I'm from, uh, which is Minnesota. So I've been on the Minnesota board. I've chaired a number of committees there. And I bring the experience of some things that we've done really well uh, and some things that we certainly could have done better learning what you're doing here, yeah. um, particularly uh, I think that your diversity committee is doing a great job. Thank you. Uh, and I love the report and things like that. And that those are some things that other associations may not be doing as well. And there's some things that we could certainly learn from. Mm -hmm. um, and so because I have served in a number of capacities on boards and committees and uh, and, and also minority trade associations as well, um, I just have a ton of experience of, of engaging with our members and our and, and, and my realtor friends I call them I love that. Uh, in this environment yeah I love that so um, since you have such a broad spectrum of experience what do you find to be the most biggest challenge to our industry today mm -hmm. and what do you think that the board of realtors and the, the actress MLS should do to help move us forward in those challenges um, I feel like there's Plenty. <laughs> there's there's several, if you there's will. There's a lot of work to be yeah. done. Yeah. <laughs> well, and good work too. Not that there's not that everything's bad, but anything could be better. But but there are some challenges that we face, and I could go on for days about how important I really feel buyer representation is, mm -hmm. and the attack on buyer representation. Mm -hmm. I think buyer, uh, you know, uh, particularly being that that um, I've long had a team, and many of our we're buyer heavy. Uh, our, our man to the extent of probably. 70, 80 percent are buyers, and half of those are first-time home buyers. Yeah, and half of those are first-generation home yeah. buyers. So there's a lot of love and care that we give to buyers as buyers agents. Um, so I'm I'm a huge advocate of making sure that that is something that people have an opportunity to utilize as buyer representation. And then of course the the industry in general everywhere in the country right now is having a, an issue with affordability yeah. um, and inventory, especially here in Austin, yeah. you know, with the affordability. And so because I'm an advocate for home ownership and getting people into home ownership, that's, that's, a, that's a problem um, at the rate that we've seen, you know, the, the inflection here. So yeah. um, those are some of the things that I see <laughs> that certainly we could spend some time you know, the, making sure we help. Yeah. For sure, yeah. for sure. There's a lot to unpack there, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, as we wrap up our interview today, what do you want to leave your colleagues with? What do you want to say to them um, as they consider your vote to sure. the Austin Board of Realtors? Well, certainly I'd like to ask for your vote. Vote for me, Julia Lachey Israel. <laughs> um, I am here to serve, really. I'm, I'm here to serve and I'm here to represent uh, the agent body and, and not just my own personal um, opinion of things, uh, the general consensus of what realtors want here in Austin. Um, so that's what I'm here to do, but I can only do it if you vote for me. <laughs> so I hope you do that, and I hope I'm able to serve here at the Austin Board of Realtors. Well, thank you so yeah. much, Julia. It was a pleasure having you today. Thank you. Um, to all of you watching, please don't forget to vote. Be on the lookout for that voting tool in September, and uh, we will see you next time. Bye, friends. <laughs>